All right, guys, here we are. Nice little house to explore in the countryside. The ladies are already inside having a look. Uh, this location was actually given to me by somebody. Uh, very, thank you very much. I don't want to say her name to give away where we are, but uh, I'm very appreciative of her. She sh told us where this location was, so it's uh, pretty awesome that we know where this is now. And uh, yeah, let's go in and have a look. I haven't been in yet, so let's go on in and have an explore. Nice old firmness. Let's see, it's pretty. Pretty overgrown here on the side. Side porch here to get in. Some uh, clay pigeons right there. Yeah, and the door was unlocked. See the meters and pulled off. Oh wow, eh? Holy crap, a lot of stuff. Yeah. Turn the light on here. Give it a little light. Wow. Batteries. Dishwasher. What was that all about? Because you're opening the fridge. She opened the fridge, did she? Yeah, the old uh, over <laughs> a little decay yeah, there in the ceiling. Natural. Wow, man, I don't even know where to start. This is pretty cool. A lot of stuff. Yeah. <laughs> Baseball glove. Kids baseball. Oh, the ceiling pretty collapsed down uh, into the bathroom here. Yeah. Yeah, it looks like it's got some good DK. Oh, did I step on a squeaky toy? Something squeak. Nope, maybe not. Yeah, there's lots of stuff in this place. Winnipeg. Oh. Huh. A lot of stuff written there. I don't even know what that all is. Definitely we're keeping track. Something was like meetings or something. And there's like pilot stuff here. So maybe the person was a pilot maybe? Did some sort of official training or something. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff. This is a good one. Yeah. Vacuum. Yeah, the, the walls all come down there, right? Or the ceiling, sorry, not the wall. Yeah. Get the horseshoe over the doorway there. What's this in here? This is our fuse panel? Yeah, it's a fuse panel. Uh, yeah, a fuse panel. So it's not very old. It's still got, still got modern fuses in it. Yeah, there's a mountain bike out behind the garage here. When I had a quick little look at the back side of it. All the matches. It's kind of crazy. There's like all these matches on the floor here. Like, <laughs> <laughs> This horse has seen some better days. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> wow, look at this. Eh? Wow. <laughs> it's got some wild hair. <laughs> My Little Pony's had some My <laughs> Little Trouble. Like wow. that. <laughs> yeah, look at the walls. Eh? They're like I a pinky. I think that's pinky. one of the Barbie unicorns. Yeah, something is it? like that. Like... <laughs> oh, oh my goodness. That yeah. is something else. <laughs> wow, look at all the stuff, eh? <coughs> Bedroom right in there. Yeah, yeah let's start in here. You can smell pee, pee though. There's been definitely something pee, -pee in here, like an animal of some kind. Mm. Uh, so much stuff on the floor here. It's like bottles of stuff. Well, yeah. Yeah, this is a good one. 
Yeah, it looks like people have gone through it looking for stuff. The cupboards are all. It's a dead animal and it's dead. What? In the chair. Yeah, it's a dead animal. Yeah, a deceased animal. Um, yeah, I'll have a look there. I won't show on camera what it is, but we'll, I'll go around and see what it is. I think it's a coon, but yeah. Yeah, maybe a, I think it's a raccoon. Yeah, cookie jar. Yeah, unfortunately, with abandoned houses, you're gonna get that. Yeah, it looks like it's a dead raccoon. I just meant, please tell me it's dead. Oh yeah, he wouldn't be he wouldn't be laying that still if we were here. He'd be out and gone. Oh wow, the bathroom is absolutely whole back of it's just gone. Can't even get in there. That's crazy. Yeah, you just stick the camera in and show where it is. There's a little cupboard space there. Yeah, I'll slide that up so you guys can see. Yeah, the bathroom is just toast. You can see through the hole here, like the back wall of it's gone. Yeah. Tell they were farmer, they got lots of like farmer esque kind of clothes, I guess you'd say. Like Work clothes. Yeah, that smelly smell I think is the deceased animal. Uh, yeah, not much in the fridge, eh? A little bit of water. Mm. A little butterfly on the fridge. Yeah, it does stink. Yeah. We got low PG. Hmm. Baby chair. It's a car chair, isn't it? For like a baby? Yeah. yeah. Bike chair. Bike or yeah, bike chair for a bike, yeah, for a kid. Yeah, this stuff on the table's for like taking care of farm animals and that. Yeah. See? Uh yeah, it's a deceased animal. It looks like it's been a raccoon. Yeah, he's been He's been deceased for some time. Is it a possum or a... No, it's a raccoon. It's a raccoon. It's a raccoon. Tell me the shape of the skull and the fur. I won't, uh... I won't show the body of the raccoon up close. Just the... Here's the kitchen, though. Nice shot of the kitchen. Yeah. I know I sound silly when we go in these houses and I say, Hello, raccoon! But uh, that's why I always do that, because you never know. I don't want to corner one. Wow, yeah, you don't want to look over here in this corner because they... You'll... I've seen over in the corner. Yeah, there's probably some pretty good spiders in here in the summer. Yeah. Cool mirror, though. All right, staircase. Wow, that's got like a cord going up the stairs here. Wool. Yeah, wool. Oh, yeah, wool, I guess. Oh, they're pretty stable, pretty strong. Oh, what's this book? The boy fire eater? Never, never heard of it. Looks like a leg off a doll there. Hello, raccoons. Uh, yeah. I... There's lots up here. It's pretty wild. You can actually probably come up, but uh, I don't know how far on the floor we'd want to walk. Because I saw downstairs, it's pretty rotten from underneath. There's like a bed with uh, some luggage. Yeah, it's pretty stable. It's pretty stable. Yeah. yeah. I'm on the stairwell. Yeah. yeah, it's pretty stable. Yeah. Enough, I can get up and kind of show everybody what it looks like. Yeah. The great hold up mystery. Definitely was. Uh, Person like the read, there's like a box Holy of books, and... toilets, two yeah. toilets in one spot, old vacuum over there. It's like an old pea pot there on the <laughs> on the bed, on bunk or on the bed there. Sorry, not a bunk, but that's an old bed. Uh, I'll try not to show that full well one quite yet. Yeah, yeah, a toilet there and a blue toilet. That's the older one, the blue one. That's probably the more modern one, the white one. Yeah.
No, it's still got pictures on the walls. Does it? Yeah, yeah the clock is still on the wall here. It's at 10 after 12. There's even like a decoration hanging up, like an owl thing hanging there, right there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. There's a photo album. Uh, I don't think that's this house. But there's like a lot of pictures here, like little kids and stuff. Which unfortunately I can't show it, but it's all right next to raccoon poopy here. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I may have to blur that a little bit because there's a picture there of a kid. But yeah. That's the thing I can't get over. They leave the photo albums behind in these houses. It's like amazing. Like, I can't never get over that. Yeah. Here, I'll kind of cover it so then I can show you the. Yeah, this is the photo album here, guys. I just covered the pictures so I don't. You can see this is the bed with everything on it. Yeah. Raccoons have definitely been living in this one, though. Well, it seems pretty stable. Although this back part, no, yeah, this no, back I'm part. Not leaving this part right yeah, in. yeah, but they, they were definitely some of you like to read a lot of books. Hey, look at the amount of books, Reader's Digest, and yeah, that whole floor is coming off the wall there. Yeah, that's not safe there. Mm -hmm. It's kind of a strange painting job on the wall. We'll see that line. Yeah, I saw that. Yeah. I don't know if it's supposed to represent something. You got an email. Maybe uh, shine the flashlight in there. Light it up a little bit if you have it. Illuminate it a bit and see what... Yeah. Is that Chinese checkers there on the floor? I think it is, eh? That or crocodile. No. I'm gonna, like, I don't know if I can spin this around. Maybe I'll have to switch. Can you take this? Yeah, I'm just going to step in. Just there's a, a shelf right here. I want to kind of... I'll spin the camera as I get it. I can't, I don't really want to step into the room because the floor, but this, this thing's absolutely covered in books. Oh, yeah, look at the pictures on the wall. So these were the pictures the girl took that showed me the house. It was this back wall right here. It's got, like, everything stuck on it. Like, a, it's pretty crazy. Huh. Yeah, I'll kind of do a nice slow... I think she actually stepped into the room and took the picture of this because from the picture I saw, it was straight on. But uh, I'm not going yeah, to. that floor is a little too dangerous. I'm going to have your guy too, so it's a little too dangerous for me to. Uh, I might go through. There's a sheep shearing thing here, so definitely uh, yeah. yeah. There's definitely lots of stuff. I might chance this room a little bit. Yeah. Ironing board, toaster oven, lots of paperwork on the floor. Yeah, the old chairs. Both these rooms seem like they were kids' rooms. There's like uh, some decorations over the wall here. I can't see. It looks like a permanent hill. And like a indigenous person. Mm -hmm. Use the proper term. Uh, yeah, this is pretty wild. Lots of stuff, eh? 365 bedtime stories. Lego. I remember those jugs. The banister's gone. The banister's gone, yeah. Yeah. We'll have to check the garage out, too, because the garage has got stuff in it. Yeah, yeah but did you see in the basement? No. Okay, we'll have to check that out if we can. Yeah. Yeah. Isn't there a shot of the room, guys? Let's see, give you a little light. That's a little better. This is probably the master parents bedroom. And I'm thinking these were the kids' rooms. Unfortunately, as you can see, guys, I can't can't into the room. We got a pretty massive hole right there the whole back side of the house is completely disintegrated yeah and i'm a little too heavy of a guy to step over there i think it might collapse with my body weight that's pretty cool yeah 
see the walls coming apart right there too. Yeah. Box of jars. Yeah, pretty wild. Lots of stuff left. All right, we'll go down and have a look at the downstairs. Really be careful. The staircase is really coated in papers. You're kind of slipping your stuff on. Oh, the old computer monitor. Yeah. Oh, I kind of have to maybe blur the deceased raccoon there. <laughs> oh, people want to see that. That's the basement. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. Wow. Straight out of a murder <laughs> horror movie. Still got some canned stuff up there. Yeah, yeah. Canning. Canning. Oh, I'm gonna look here. They look like they're attached. Hold the light fine. Let's do a little. Yeah, my lights on on the camera. All right. Well, the first one's pretty. Oh right. no, well, you got. I'm pounding out to make sure there's no loose nails. Yeah, it's pretty stable. I think it'd be okay. Just don't come down right after me. Wait till I'm down. That one's kind of soft. Stepped on the outside edges here towards where it's connected. Down. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's a little sketchy. It's not bad, but it's sketchy. Yeah, I'm down. Sorry for the bad camera shot, guys, but I'm just trying to come down the stairs. All right. Uh, you think I can handle me the flashlight? Because I don't, I don't think I'm going to go too far. It looks like it's flooded. Yeah. Had a cistern in it. Yeah, big old cistern like like uh, one of our friends' houses have. Oh, yeah, I can see she's flooded. Yeah, there's about a foot of water in it now. I didn't think it was flooded all the way up to the step, but it is. So it's a good thing I didn't try to walk, just start walking. Yeah. Well, yeah, there's a big beam right here that's collapsed. So yeah, the floor is actually collapsing where we're walking. So yeah. It's kind of a good thing we didn't try to, yeah. yeah, pretty wild. Uh, hopefully this is translating good on the on the camera, guys. And you can see she's pretty flooded. Pretty low basement. I'm only uh, I'm about five, 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 six. Just a little under six feet, and like I'm crouched right over. Like I couldn't imagine somebody being six feet and even trying to stand down here. My head's up against the flashlight, or up against the light bulb for the ceiling. All right. Yeah, you can see there's absolutely nothing supporting that floor right there. We were just walking on. That beam is kind of supporting it, but the main that one there that was holding it before is gone. Washer and dryer right there. All right. Up we go again. Oh yeah, stay together, stay together. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, pretty wild, eh, the kitchen? I thought I had some gook on my hands, but nope, I'm good. I like how the coffee maker's still plugged in. <laughs> yeah. Pretty wild. Yeah. Far enough away from the I said guys there's a poor deceased Mr. Raccoon over there. Well I don't want to show it too close because you know people might not want to see that. There's another bedroom here right behind uh, this door. Did you go in this other big bedroom? So I just gotta watch her because I know there's nothing holding that up very much. Yeah. It's like fairly fresh paint. So maybe it was painted not long before it was uh, abandoned. Yeah, there's the master bedroom. So it's kind of weird. It's got a master bedroom down here as well as upstairs. Like, eh, maybe a fairly large family maybe living in it. Oh, fairly modern light bulbs. So. 
say maybe abandoned. Ooh, 10 years maybe? Ooh, that floor is really creaking. Well, that's my boots creaking, not the floor, but I can tell this floor is not good. Yeah. Pretty nice big bed that they left behind. Windows open over there. This uh, refrigerator is definitely going to go through the floor pretty soon. And there's not much holding it up. Still, a pretty good explorer. Awesome. Awesome house to explore. Lots left. Now we'll see if we can go into the garage. I know I can go in from the front main door. It's all busted open. But we'll see if we can actually go through the door that the folks living here would have used. I can get over to it. I'll try not to step on anything or break anything. Yeah, there it is. No power in this. It can't be no power in this, is there? No, no power. I, was gonna say, I didn't think it was the cable. The wires are still hooked up, but I, I matched like with the with the meter ripped off. I didn't have power. You yeah, yeah. You can get in. It's uh, you can get through the door. Yeah. Lots of horse harnesses here, and yeah, old stove, wood stove. Yeah, pretty wild. Will you unlock the car? Yep. There you go. That's okay. I'll let you guys go ahead and get the car in the warm. Yeah, yeah. Lots of old stuff. I can tell they definitely were uh, farmers. Yeah, they got like... I think that's for... I think that's for sorting... Something? I don't know. Oh, no. Yeah, it's for milling something and then it goes in here, I think. I think like this wheel spins and it mills something and it falls in there and then the, mm -hmm. the stuff you don't... The chaff falls out. The chafe, whatever you call it. Yeah, it's got a little old stool there on it. Jeez, that's pretty old. Yeah, it's a pretty cool day today. It's uh, first week of December. No snow though, but uh, yeah, pretty cool day. So the ladies got a little cold and went ahead to the vehicle. Yeah, we'll continue with our little sport. Go we'll keep looking. Yeah, some stuff there. Got like a bit of a tool bench here. Golf ball, maybe a golfer, maybe one time. Old rip saw on the floor. Jerry can. Doesn't look like they actually kept the car in here, so they just used it for storage, more or less. There is some tires, but this looks kind of neat here. I just saw this on the ground, guys. Looks like it's a, a brush for a horse. Yeah. Hmm. pretty neat so yeah like I said I had a, another urban explorer um, nice young lady she uh, was here before and I saw her photos of this location and uh, she did some really nice photos and uh, I kind of did a chat with her and uh, I swapped the location for a location kind of thing and yeah so here we are I should uh, thank her again for uh, telling us about this place it's a really awesome nice explorer um I'm guessing maybe abandoned it for, yeah, maybe 15, 20 years. But look at that TV. That's an older TV. Just have a rough guess. Maybe you guys will have a better idea than I will. But we'll go back up here, up the creaky stairs. And what we'll do is we'll go ahead around the back, because I did see some stuff around the back. So I'll close that door as best I can. There's like even like a, I guess that's the pillow for the back of the chair. Star Joyce, so that's a satellite dish, so that's fairly recent, like 
I don't see a date. Maybe one of you guys reading this will know. Maybe catch a date I missed. I didn't see any dates when I was looking. What was that? We call it, um, dang, I'm having a brain fart. Pulley, pulley system there. Whatever they're using that for. Yeah, you can see this house is just, <laughs> I can't get over all the matches on the floor. Yeah. Yeah, it's paper with a lot of names on them, so I'm not going to go through that too much. Just protect anybody's identity. Yeah, you can see we're kind of in the rural countryside, farming country. We'll go outside here, we'll close the door. Be polite, respectful. We'll go for a little walk in the back, guys. We'll, the ladies are waiting in the car there, they're warming up, they're a little cold. You can see it snowed a little. But I did see over here, you can see there's the garage again from the outside. Over here, I did see some interesting things. And I just saw something really interesting in a second, and I'll show you guys. But, yeah, there was an old bike over here, I see. Now, if, uh, there's anybody watching this, I'm just going to say, if you're squeamish and you don't like this kind of thing, you might want to either pause it or fast forward or not look. But it's not too bad, but it is an animal skull. And a skeleton. So it looks like it's been laying there for quite some time. I don't know what it is, if it's a deceased cat or a raccoon. But uh, we'll go for a little stroll here. There's a barn back here, so we'll have a look. The ladies are, again, like I said, warming up in the car, so just be me by myself. Got a, looks like a children's swing. Yeah, it's one of those older swings for children. Cattle trough. No shortage of burrs. What's those? Yeah, it looks like there's been some other structures back here at one time. It looks like it's been maybe a barn. See a bit of equipment over there and stuff. It does look like this area is still kind of used by a farmer from time to time. The field here beside me looks like it might have been uh, cultivated within the last couple of years. But, uh, yeah, I'll try to step through here without getting into all the burrs. Yeah. It's like the remnants of an old barn here maybe. I don't know what that is. Yeah, I'm not too sure what that is. Maybe somebody will know. So there's the house there, guys. So not too far from it. I can hear some sheep. You can see there is some old farming equipment here. I think this is still active. This uh, hay looks relatively recent. Looks like there's maybe an old chicken coop over there. We'll walk over and check this out real quick just to see. You never know. You never know. There might be something interesting. Yeah, looks like there's an old uh, combine over here. Yeah, I don't think this has been used for a while. It looks kind of overgrown. So this might have been the combine for the farm maybe when the people lived here. I don't know guys. It's pretty neat. International. Yeah. <laughs> the sheep. Yeah. All the belts and stuff on it. Yeah, that's 
That's pretty neat. Uh, there's the cab. I'll try to climb step up here. It's kind of hard to do this one hand on the camera. It's pretty slippery. Uh, yeah, here's the cab, guys. Fortunately, I can't really get up and sit in it because I'm trying to film and look at the same time. So this is the best thing I'm going to be able to do for you. But I think I'm getting the gist of it here. Here it is. Controls. Yeah, looks like she's been kind of abandoned. I don't think this has run for a while. Maybe. So we left the door open. We'll be nice and maybe the farmer will want to come back and use us someday. So we'll close her up so it doesn't get all weathered. Uh, yeah, I don't think it's moved in a while, but oh, an old fire extinguisher. It's pretty old. Yeah. Picking off all the burrs. There's the back of the house from here. And looks like from here. Yeah, guys, so hope you enjoyed this one. Pretty good explorer.